Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Poigi here, getting ready to take out the Italian RO44 in Air Arcade. Uh, we're down to our last modification. Hopefully get this thing spaded this time. Um, what you need to know about the plane, it's not very good. It uh, doesn't maneuver very well, doesn't hold energy very well. It's got 250 cals that if you hit something, you're good. But uh, pretty much everything out there can catch you in a climb or, or catch you when you're trying to energy fight with it. It just doesn't work for that. It doesn't work for turning. So not a lot you can do with it other than uh, do some support for your teammates. Having said all that, let's take it out and see what we can do. The map is rare. That means it's probably going to be a relatively quick game. All of the uh, ground units are bunched up. So get a decent bomber on either side. They're going to make this go fast. Stealth ammo, 800 meter targeting distance, minimum fuel. And I take that back. This is rare. They're actually spread out pretty good. So. Might get a chance to get a few kills in this one. At least have enough time to. See who we're up against. Uh, actually, I'll wait for the web to peter off. Alright, web's gone. Go ahead and flatten out and see who we're up against. So, three bombers on their side. Nobody squatted. Our side's heavy with bombers. Swordfish is interesting, but we're going to stick to our game plan and uh, just play some defense, stay on our side of the map, go after their guys who are furthest to our side. There's three over here with not really anybody giving them trouble, just one of our guys. And they're pretty far on our side, so we're going to move down this way. Now notice I'm not diving in towards them, like in a hard dive. I want to be directly above them before I uh, before I bounce them. All right, so they passed our ground units. They should be turning. Two of them are. Now it's time to dive down. And see what we can do. I'll leave the guy who's shooting at alone. I might actually go after this Su2 first, just because he can do a hell of a lot more damage to our ground units. He does have front guns, so you got to be a little bit careful. One of his wings. He's got a really good back gunners, as you can see. So let's get below his back gunners. And get a few more rounds into it. Still hanging in there. Give an A for persistence. Alright, that ought to do it. Oh, hi, TDD. Turn right in front of him. Reload in five seconds. He's not dead by then, he will be. Alright, he's done. SB2 in front of us. Head his way. No danger from the right currently. A little danger from the left potentially. Keep an eye out. And the right with that P26. Alright, we can't climb with them. If we can get a few shots into them. Not to make things better for our teammate. And we should be able to get some shots. Jumpy on my screen. Part of that's him maneuvering, but one of us probably doesn't have very good ping. Alright, finally got him. Let's swing over to the left here. See if we can help clean up these two. Peace shooter and an HE-51 in front of us. Peace shooter's down. HE-51 looks like he's almost dead already. Yep. Another HE-51 wants to head on. We got 50 cows. We can do that. It hits.
All right, map went relatively quickly, but we did end up with six air targets, got survivor because we didn't die and had the most kills, and first place on the team. That should finish spading this, thank goodness. Yep, we are done. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you on the next one. America! Fuck yeah! To save this fucking day, yeah! Beautiful.